Is Jamie Hill, are you? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Great, great, fine. Thanks very much. Um, just wondering, how is morale uh, after the disappointment of Saturday? It's okay now. Uh, obviously, a defeat like that takes a couple of days to kind of sink in and, and you look back on it. But yeah, uh, we got that out of the road and training's been good the last couple of days and we're ready for the game tomorrow. One of the quirks of scheduling means you're playing against Aberdeen, the other side that uh, were knocked out at the semi-final stage of last season's competition. Uh, so neither side's going to have any time to, to dwell on that disappointment? No, I think that's probably a good thing for both teams that uh, the game's coming around uh, fast. So I know they'll be in the same boat as us. They want to, they want to bounce back after last weekend and, and get the victory. So it should be a good game. And uh, Jack Ross, after the game, was saying it was just the fine margins that, that went against us. Given that you're both flying high in the league and there's a point between you, looking on from outside, we, we could expect a, a tight a tight game, maybe a wee bit like the one at Easter Roads earlier in the season, maybe not with the same outcome. Yeah, well, hopefully not <laughs> the same outcome. But, uh, you know, it's two good teams uh, who have done well so far this season going against each other. Uh, Two good managers who, who both know the game. So, yeah, as a, as a neutral, probably a good game to watch. Uh, hopefully we can, can come out on top. Hi, Jamie. It's Sheila, STV here. Hi, you doing? All the, the good work that's been done so far this season, how important is it that you don't dwell too much on what happened last weekend and try and focus on, on the good things that you've achieved so far? Yes, yeah, very important. I mean... You don't want that to be the highest you get this season, get the Scottish Cup final, semi-final. Uh, you want to go on from here and, and keep winning games in the league and obviously another two cups to come and, and who knows what's going to happen. So uh, we're still building uh, in the league and hopefully we can keep going. And, and personally for you, I take it the target now is just to make sure you, you get a run really in the team in, in starting now? Yeah, obviously it's been a bit stop start since coming in. Obviously, been allowed to play games, then international breaks. Obviously, this is the last game before another international break. So yeah, obviously just want to play my part in the team. You know, as long as we're we're doing well and we're winning, uh, obviously that's, that's a part of why I'm here. Thanks, uh, uh, Jane. Jamie, did you um, you make your Hibs debut against Aberdeen last time? Yeah, uh, signed on the. Friday and uh, yeah, played one on Sunday. I came on set that. So um, you'll be a bit more prepared for this one than that tie when it came around. Yeah, definitely. I had uh, obviously we had the, the whole coronavirus thing the day before. I, I don't think the boys trained the day before, so I never really got to to meet any of them before the game. So uh, definitely, definitely better. Yeah. How do you feel you've sort of progressed in that time as well? It's not actually been that long, I don't think, but um, still been a wee while. Yeah, good, yeah. Uh, the games I've played, I, I feel like I've done well and, and contributed to the team. Uh, but you know that the team's been doing well, we've been winning games. I think that's that's obviously why I'm here, to try and try and help the team do that. Uh, but you know, everyone wants to, to do their bit and, and play their part. I'm no different. I mean, what have you what have you made of Aberdeen this season? Obviously, you are the two teams battling for the, the third spot. What do you make of your opponents for the weekend? Aberdeen are a good side. Uh, they have been for a few years now, uh, and obviously, the last couple of years have been up there trying to get third. You know, the place that, that we want to be. So, it's up to us to to try and obviously move them out of that place. Uh, you know, we're going to their place, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, but, you know, we're confident and we're, we're looking forward to it. You're all confident that, that you can go up and win at Pataudry. Hibs haven't won there in eight years, since 2012. Uh, every, every game's different, so uh, we'll go up there thinking to win. I wouldn't even have thought about a start like that, obviously going to a game over there. So, uh, And I'm sure the boys probably don't know that either. So. It's up to us to put a good performance on and try and get some goals.